Hello? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we do and talk about anything because you have nothing better to do and neither do I. Okay, so before we get into the little rant or whatever, let me fix up my lobby because it's a new season. I need the points so I can get a lot of, you know, be 111, 112. We'll rank 111 or 112, whatever. Anyways, I'm just really upset again. I, I know, I know, I know. I, Alana, you're always upset now. Well, I'm just going to use this as a rant. Pretend this is like a diary entry and I'm just scrambling, you know, writing on all the pages pages very angrily, getting my emotions out. That way I don't feel them again because that's what helped last time. Anyways, so if you're in college or maybe you're like a senior in high school and you're about to go to college and you're like, oh, I need money to go to school. I'm going to apply on FAFSA. <laughs> let me tell you something before you even go you're probably going to be stressed out because right now i don't know what's going on they're doing this weird little soft launch thing where they're like actually you know the site that was perfectly normal that everybody liked and you know it, it was normal we're actually going to change the entire thing yeah that sounded weird we're going to change the entire thing and we're only going to open up fafsa for about one minute every week and if you don't get in that one minute, sorry, try again later. And if you can't try again later, mm, womp womp. you can actually do it when the site officially opens on July something. July? July is in six months. Oh, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? I'm ready in school now. Anyways, so that's been stressing me out. Um, I don't really know if I'm getting money. Like, okay, because the last one I did was for 2023, 2024, I'm pretty sure, because that was last year. So, wait, I think it was 2022, 2023, actually, now I think about it. I can't remember, but I don't know if I'm getting money this semester. I, I really don't know. I've been trying to fill out the form thing, and I'm really confused because I don't really understand if this, that's for this year or next year or whatever. I don't even remember anymore, but you can't even log on there to, like, look. Like, you can look at your past stuff, but... I can't apply for the new one. And I'm like, what is a girl to do when she needs money? The job thing isn't working. But I'll find something. I don't know, I guess. Um, I should be taking surveys and getting like a dollar each. That'd be helping, I guess. But a girl needs actual money for stuff like food and things. But anyways. So that's just been really stressing me out because I'm like, come on, guys. Like, I don't understand what is going on. Like... At the end of the day, why would they why would they do this? I I just I don't really understand. I feel like they could have just let more people do it. Like every time I check on there, it's never working. Maybe it'll be working now or something that I made this. Like every time I get angry at something, it immediately works and then I look dumb for talking about it. But who knows? If it does go up, I'll be happy. And I'll shut my little mouth and I'll just prance around happy. But until that happens, I'm just going to talk and talk and talk. Anyway, so... Yeah, I'm just trying to get that. Hopefully, they send it to me. Especially during winter and, like, springs. No, winter and summer semester for some reason. They like to give you no money at all until you are done with that semester and then they're like oh now we can give you money even though you needed the money for your books and stuff sorry you can actually get it now though which doesn't make sense to me because you would think they'll give it to you like the first week of you going so that way you can like get the supplies and everything especially because like i'm in chemistry and i also i need to get a whole bunch of stuff for that but there ain't no money coming in so i don't really know what they thought the logic was there i don't know what the logic behind that was but who knows um they usually just give you the money at the end though which doesn't make sense because then the next semester is already starting and then you get money from that and then i have extra money which is good i guess but it's like i could have used this a while ago and it, like it would have helped more you know but whatever it doesn't really matter now but anyways school in general cut <laughs> guys i'm just letting you know if you're in high school and you're about to go to college i'm in my second year i'm just letting you guys know make sure you guys apply for your classes a semester in advance a semester or two in advance actually if you can because you know i applied for classes last semester 
and I applied for classes um, this semester for the next semester. And it was so stressful because you get on there. I applied like four weeks before the semester was over last semester for this one. Like, thank God I have the classes I have now, but oh my God, I should have done it sooner because I didn't know. I looked on there for the classes I wanted. Full, 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 waitlist, 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 waitlist. There were so many waitlists and everything. Everything's grayed out because apparently 100,000 students all applied in one second and there was no classes available except for like two. And of course they're going to be, God, of course they're going to be the ones that like, you know, nobody wants to take those ones. Like they'll be at eight o'clock in the morning for five effing hours, which um, nobody wants to do to that. But thank God I got my chemistry class, which is like three days a week, but it's, it's early, but it's not too early, you know? So it's really not that bad. Like it's still three hours. Like honestly, I kind of wanted to have like an online one, but every single class online and in person was bugged except for this one but i'm actually really thankful i got this one because my teacher's really nice you know and i feel like thank god i picked in person because if i was online i think i would be so lost like i don't know how i thought i would do that it's chemistry there's it i don't know it's chemistry like i literally don't know how i would do that online so thank god i did that and i got it in person and then i have another class online but i can only take two i mean once you can only take two anyways but you know it can be a little stressful sometimes but besides that this is what i was going to talk about um i was also applying for classes for spring semester which is like the actual semester because it's like bigger a lot more classes are available you can take like i don't know like f at most like five or six classes i think and so i was applying everything's booked already that semester doesn't even start for like a month and a half and i was looking like a month ago so that's three months in advance almost something like that maybe i'm being dramatic i, I can't really remember but I, it's like around two to three months everything is booked everything is booked and i'm just like how like i literally don't understand how that's even possible like well i guess it makes sense if everybody's gonna be transferring soon i don't know why i didn't think of that and i think about it but it was just insane to me because i'm like every single class i want is gone like how is that even possible oh and don't even get me effing started on these teachers who only offer one class for an entire year like one of the classes i had to take i was so stressed out because i was in that class and it was almost gonna get canceled because there wasn't enough people in it which is really stressful anyways because they're like oh actually guys if you don't if they take away this class, you're actually, you can't take it. You can't graduate this semester because you can't take it until this time next year. And I, I can't wait for that. Sorry. I'm already about to graduate and transfer to the next college. But, like, that literally would have ruined everything. Thank God that didn't happen. Also, I was scared because I really, I needed, okay, in college, you need to see an up to pass the class. So, I usually always give A's and B's, but... I don't know why last semester I had like a C and I was so stressed the entire semester because I'm like, please, 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 please don't let me fail. Because if I fail this class, I literally will have to wait an entire year to retake it so I can transfer because it's one of the transferable credits that I need for my degree. So just make sure that you check when your classes are available because don't think for all of your classes you're going to be like, oh, I can just take that next semester. If you're in community college or college, I don't know, for a specific thing, I'm in community college, by the way, so this is for that. But if you're in college for a specific thing, please make sure that you know or like you check like when the classes are available. Don't just assume that all of them are going to be available every single semester unless it's like gen ed classes. Like if it's English, math, depending on what your math is um history stuff like that is usually always available like every single semester because like every degree needs it basically like come on but like if it's more specific to your degree make sure you know when th those classes are available because like some of them literally are only available once or twice a year so i didn't know that so make sure because i was stressed because i was trying to take one of these classes like a year ago and it didn't work so now i'm gonna be taking it next semester finally but yeah, that's just a warning. If you're already in college, you're probably already know that. Unless your school is better than mine. And mine just turns out to be weird. But yeah. But anyways. Um, 
it can just be a little stressful sometimes especially because i don't know if you guys use canvas or not but sometimes it's so effing unreliable like sometimes i try to submit my assignments or something and it just does not go through and i remember that happened to me with my final a uh, final yeah and he was emailing me about it and i tried to send, like you know turning it into him but some reason it just would not go through to his email every single time and he was just like actually i'm just gonna give you an f oh uh, no he gave me a d which is not passing so i had to retake it even though i had an a in the class but you know your final is worth way more than everything so i went from an a to a d and had to retake it which really sucked because that class was an 8 a.m class like three to four days a week for five hours for eight nine, ten. yeah it was like five or four hours and to see all that work you know just go down the drain you know wasting a month of my life just in that class for no reason was very 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 upsetting and i may have teared up or cried a little but we're over that now but it was very 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 stressful because i'm like are you effing kidding me but the good thing is that like I just took the exact same class with that exact same teacher again because I was like, whatever, I did all the work already and I already have the final. So that's exactly what I did. The next semester, I took his class and I passed with an A, even higher than I would have before. So that's great, I guess, because I already had all the work and I knew exactly what to do. I just added more stuff and then I just turned it in and I participated more and then I got an A in the class. So that helped, I guess, but... <sighs> sometimes college can just be so stupid like especially parking i'm just gonna tell you guys right now i didn't have a car before so i used to have to uber to school every day which was very expensive and it was very annoying so i was like i'm gonna get a car i'm just gonna park like everybody else does little did i know there's gonna be zero parking every single day apparently they're like okay we're gonna actually build only 10 parking spaces for everybody at this entire facility even though there's about 1500 students i don't know if there actually is i'm just saying but that's literally insane to me like i i really don't understand why would they would do that and on top of that you can't even park anywhere without getting a ticket because you have to buy a parking permit every single semester which is 22 dollars and it's like why like whatever i guess i don't really understand why but sure and whatever that's fine i guess and don't even get me started when there's an activity at school when there's literally like a job fair going out at school and you know everybody can come to a job fair like i don't know you can be at high school you could be a grown adult i mean there's adults in college but you know what i mean you get the gist there is never parking at any point of the day you can't go anywhere and it's so frustrating because it's like where do you go where do you go huh you gotta park across the campus at like an entire different place and then walk all the way back to your school and go to class which takes forever but whatever i guess no Oops. oh my okay guys i'm leaving my cat threw up all over my floor bye love you subscribe